to protect lives and livelihoods. A slow, steady lifting of lockdowns is key to both stimulating economies while also keeping a vigilant eye on the virus so that control measures can be quickly implemented if an upswing in cases is identified. Um, healthcare workers, I mean, we, we sometimes imagine that's healthcare workers working in very Over the weekend, we saw signs of the challenges that may lie ahead. In the Republic of Korea, bars and clubs were shut as a confirmed case led to many contacts being traced. In Wuhan, China, the first cluster of cases since their lockdown was lifted was identified. Germany has also reported an increase in cases since an easing of restrictions. Fortunately, all three countries have systems in place to detect and respond to a resurgence in cases. But if disease persists in countries at a low level without the capacity to uh, investigate clusters, identify clusters, then there is always the risk that the disease will take off again. Uh, to get Kamran Kasimov from uh, Azerbaijan. Kamran? Do you hear me? Yeah. Instead of clear support, there are divergent views among member states and no basis, therefore, no mandate for the DG to extend an invitation. Thank you very much. Uh, next question is uh, from uh, China Radio, and that's uh, Jean. Workplaces should develop action plans for prevention and mitigation of COVID-19 as part of their overall business plan. The plan should also include measures for protecting health, safety, and security in reopening, closing, and modifying workplaces. There's a lot of considerations that need to be taken into account when deciding whether and how to open schools. It's not just a matter of if they should open, it's how they should open. Be willing to translate that. Uh, um, we are looking at um, the number of healthcare worker infections that have been reported globally, um, and there is an alarming number of healthcare worker infections. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, answer. Uh, before we go to the next. Um, what the zero epidemiologic studies indicate to us is that there's a large proportion of the population that remains susceptible. And that's important when you think about what may happen in, in subsequent waves or what may happen as a potential resurgence. Um, and so we have a long way to go with this virus because the virus has more people that can be infected. Go to Kamran Kasimov uh, from Azerbaijani. TV. Again, when we look at the, the epidemic around the world and we see that in some countries over half of the cases have occurred in long-term care facilities or workers in those facilities, uh, you know, we need to look at these hotspots, at these really, really terrible situations in which we either haven't properly shielded pop, uh, uh, people in those situations or protected them. Uh, so I do think... Uh, this idea that, well, maybe countries who've had lax measures and haven't done anything will all of a sudden magically reach some herd immunity, and, and so what if we lose a few old people along the way? I mean, this is a really dangerous, dangerous calculation. WHO and the Director General's vote.